uh, artist Banksy did something pretty, pretty cool. Uh, just this past Saturday, he uh, had a mysterious street vendor sell some of his artwork, his authentic artwork, for $60 a pop. Keep in mind that Sotheby's had sold some of his artwork for literally millions of dollars. So these people have no idea that they're buying something for such a low price, and if they decide to resell it, it could be worth a lot of money. Let's take a quick look at the video. All right, so uh, the man who purchased four of Banksy's pieces um, can probably resell them for about $127,000. Nice. So uh, <laughs> that was incredible. And Banksy is a really interesting artist. If you don't know anything about him, he's very politically active through his art. In fact, he is anti-war, anti-capitalist, anti-establishment. A lot of his pieces include um, statements about the police and the establishment, and he wants decentralized power. So really interesting work that he does. And I am you know, an avid follower of his. I really like what he does. And he's a mysterious guy no one really knows who he is so I kind of like that element of it as well just a real quick quote that he uh, said that I really love he says we can't do anything to change the world until capitalism crumbles in the meantime we should go shopping and console ourselves so he's got a <laughs> sense of humor as well um, first question goes to Sandra uh, Sandra uh, does this surprise you I mean is this something that you would expect from Banksy no? I it doesn't surprise me at all in terms of how people walking on the street didn't recognize wonderful art, um, not at all, but the fact that he did this, I mean, I love it, and it's exactly the kind of thing I would e expect from somebody to, to play with. I love playing with expectations, um, and it's like just in sexuality, because you know, I basically do relationship and sex experting and teaching, all mm -hmm. that stuff. Uh, people are incredibly uh, affected by their friends' opinions, other people's opinions. When you see street performance and everyone's gathered around, you're like, oh, this must be important, you know? And if you just walk by... That happens vendor. with sex, too, in terms of attractiveness. You know, when, when people are paying attention to another oh, exactly. person... And, 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 you know, everybody is uh, attracted to another individual. Right. If somehow I were you become aroused by them as well. If I'm flanked with a bunch of hotties who are, right. like, interested in me, suddenly I am Desirable, perceived yeah. as more attractive. Mm -hmm. And so... I think uh, you're attractive either thanks. way. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I, I love that um, because it calls into question how we perceive the world and how much we're uh, taking cues from really superficial things. Um, yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely see this as a, a form of performance art. And, and it's, it's fascinating how many people had no interest in buying it, even though his art is very well known. Dave, do you think it's because of um, the fact that people didn't think that his art was real? Or that art that was being sold was uh, inauthentic? Uh, well, I mean, I just love the subjectivity of this whole thing. I mean, people were walking by completely ignoring it. If that had said Banksy and they were selling them for $5,000 a pop, they would have sold out without question. So is it better than any other given thing? I, I was at the Getty Museum this weekend here in LA, and uh, you know, some of the stuff, it, it, everyone knows this, you look at some stuff and you go, wow, that's real crap. And then you look at some other stuff and you go, you know, that's really great. And then there's stuff in between where you could say, oh, well, you know, my cousin could have done something better than that. And it's, it. and it's a, it's a matter of, you know, who know, knows the art dealers and uh, who's able to get the right publicist behind them. And that's what people are willing to spend money on. Is that stuff better than any other uh, screen art? I don't know, but uh, you attach his name to it and the guy in Chicago who wanted to 
you know, decorate his four walls is yeah. he's doing pretty well. I, I, I personally find his artwork b beautiful to look at, but what I like most about it is the political message behind it and, yeah. and, and the fact that he makes a statement. So there's really this huge controversy about what he's doing because a lot of people consider it vandalism. And of course, the people who do consider it vandalism are part of the establishment <laughs> and they're like, oh, wait a minute, this guy's criticizing us with his art. This is vandalism, this is graffiti, let's get rid of it, let's paint over it. And Sandra, why don't you jump in? I know you want to say something before I made my point, oh. so go ahead and make that. Oh, just mainly, um, I also think that in terms of personal branding, the fact that the uh, the guy selling it is like a grandpa, like the ageism mm -hmm. involved, and sort of like, oh, if he's doing spray art, that's not cool, you know, but it's like some young hip that's girl with like cool jewelry, he's like, spray art. <laughs> I mean, really, uh -huh. I think that's what's interesting too about that. Is it, it did remind me actually of a study that was done a couple of years ago where they had a, a world famous violinist uh -huh. um, with a $3 million Stradivarius, I think violin, setting up shop in a subway oh in right. Washington, D.C. and, um, uh, you know, doing these incredible performances uh, throughout the entire day, and, th and over a thousand people, I think, he just sort of went by him without uh, acknowledging him. I think seven people stopped to listen to him. When he's uh, in his normal life, he's selling out, you know, these incredible orchestral halls, you know, for two hundred dollars a ticket. They didn't recognize him out of context. They didn't appreciate the the value of the art mm -hmm. um, in that particular scene. I guess that actually really is the definition of art, because not only is it the the act of what the artist is doing, but also how it changes and sh exposes all of our hypocrisies and you know the fraudulent way we think about things. Right. You know that you that very night. I think she performed. Uh, that very night, and people were paying thousands of dollars yeah, to go yeah, see her. Yeah. So it, it's really incredible. So, uh, final question for you guys: What would you do if you were the lucky gentleman who purchased four pieces uh, from Banksy? Would you keep them or would you sell them? Dave, I'm going to start with you. Sell three. Uh, I'll, keep, <laughs> I'll keep one, but yeah, uh -huh. sell three for uh, how much was it? About 125,000. 127,000 yeah. uh, total. Total. To oh, total. Yeah. Either way, I'm selling three. You're selling three, Sandra. Yeah. Oh, I'd get them insured. I'd hang out with them for a couple years. I'd, they're an investment. Like I would hold on to them, um, and then you know, when I'm when I'm living in my car, I'll sell them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have some short-term <laughs> deals that right, I need yeah. to. Yeah, you know. it's cool. It's cool. I, I mean, I probably would invest. I see them as an investment as well. Yeah, um, I, I'm gonna be fair. Um, I like art and everything, but I, I would probably hold on to them as long as possible. And as soon as I can get more money for them, I would sell probably Absolutely. two. I'll yeah. be, I'll be fair. 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 Three if I'm having a hard time. <laughs>